<laughs> Bit of a horrible misty morning today. <laughs> Let's go and see what's happening in here. Shh. You right there? Yeah. <laughs> you doing? <laughs> I'm researching. What? Well, we're on red flags again, so we can't go out again. Okay. So I'm researching what on earth we can do for a YouTube video. Oh. How about we sit and watch telly? Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Here, hey, look. Buzzy! What should we do today? Don't ask me! Idea. Welcome back. I feel like it's deja vu. Why have you got a cake out? Well, because the problem <laughs> is when you can't go out, you start buying cake. That's my fault. I know. Well, no, actually, you chose oh, it's it. It's actually my fault. Yeah, so you could have said no. Red boards again. Flow rate's massive. It is. So last week it was 37. And now it is 137. <laughs> Seriously. Cubic meters per second or something. It's, it's bad. So, yeah. for us as vloggers, it makes it very tricky. We're stuck. Because we're stuck. I mean, we could go out, but it wouldn't end well. And no. <laughs> like, we need to try and make a video for you guys to keep you entertained. <laughs> or not. <laughs> so, this might be useful. Well, um, we're going to do baking. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Yeah, they would like we that. have had a request actually from somebody for us <laughs> to do our favourite meal on the boat. <laughs> um, after my pancake malarkey, oh. which I posted on social media. Um, yeah. I've only just recovered from that. It might not be a good idea. It's as scary as your squirrel that you drew. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, my cooking on the boat. I can cook, like, on land, but on the boat for some reason. No, my cooking, <laughs> baking, pancaking and drawing is, um, yeah, not something that people would want. And that's why we buy cake. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, life jackets. Mm -hmm. They can save your life, but did you realise they've got an expiry date? I have, yeah. Actually, in the instructions, you have to get them serviced every year. Yeah. But we didn't know that. Well. Did you know that? You might have known I'll that. put it away and waited for it to blow over. <laughs> <laughs> wait like for that. another day. <laughs> so, yeah, life jackets. This is what we've got. We've shown them before, haven't we? Yeah. We've got the Crew Saver Crew Fit Sport. Sporty. <laughs> we, only, we only bought these because they are the lightest and the smallest and the most comfortable. Yeah. That these do, and actually, price-wise, they're pretty good. Mm. They're not bad for for what we use them for, uh, which literally would be just to save your life, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I've got to say that... We're not offshore. Actually, I'm quite bad, and I think I've only worn mine once. Yeah, you never wear yours. You should be wearing it in this kind of weather. In the winter, you should wear this. Yeah, I should wear it. And you should wear it all the time, to be honest with you, because yeah. if you fall off and bang your head, you're going into water. Whoopsie. Yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah. If I'm on the roof in the winter, I wear this. If I'm working and I'm on a roof on a boat, I'm wearing this. Yeah. If I'm walking down pontoons when I'm working, I'm wearing this. Yeah. And if I fell in today in my jeans and what I've got on now, it's not so bad. But if you've got a big thick coat on 
and boots and everything else on and you fall in, you're not swimming very far. But anyway, so yeah, this is what we have. Um, this is a life jacket, it will save your life. Um, it's not a buoyancy aid like the other ones. Um, paddle border, canoe, that sort of things, they wear buoyancy aid because they're getting wet all the time. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get this wet because inside here it's got self-activation. So as soon as you fall in, that will go off. It's about a second. It doesn't last long. You're in the water and if you've gone underwater, this thing will go off and you're popping back up before you've even noticed. But yeah, especially in the winter, because it's the cold shock, isn't it? Yep. When you fall in and the first thing you do is go, <gasps> and then you've got a mouthful of water and you can't swim and you're panicking. And this will save your life. But we're going to take it apart today because we haven't taken them apart. And how long have we had these? Two years. Yeah. Two years. So people get worried about taking them apart, but we'll take it apart, shall we? Mm -hmm. So I say we. Yeah. <laughs> As always, the royal. Yeah, the royal. Well, you just sit there and enjoy whatever you're doing. So anyway, right, we'll undo it. So there it is. Down at the bottom, there's zips. And they're tucked right in. You probably won't see the hole, but they're tucked in so they're out of the way when you're wearing it. But you just pull them out. And it is just a zip that goes all the way around. And you literally just undo it. You've got some Velcro bits here with a, a yellow bit in the zip. You see the nice yellow bit? Yeah, what's that for? What that means is when this life jacket goes off, this bit here, look, I can pull it yeah. apart with my hand. So as the jacket inflates, it pulls this yellow bit apart and then it rips the rest of the zip apart. Oh, that's clever. You know, like when you're wearing a coat and the zip goes all funny. So yeah, so we're now, let's take this apart, shall we? And move the zip up. And literally, you just pull it all the way around. Take the zippy bit apart. <laughs> and then we're gonna move this, aren't we? So, we're gonna move the zip all the way around to the start. <laughs> like that. That's actually because we couldn't undo the zip. <laughs> yeah, the zip got stuck, but... <laughs> So, here we are, oh, the interesting bit. <laughs> this is the bit that inflates when it all goes off. This will oh, wow. all puff out, like this big. They're really big and puffy. I mean, you can see how big they are. Yeah, look how wide it is, this bit around here. So it'll puff out, and it's up here. When you've got it on, it's up here, and almost together down the did middle. You, did you use um, these. one of these for your sea survival? Yeah, we wear these and you jump in the swimming pool yeah. and they go poof. But so, so Rich has actually tested one out because he did his um, sea survival course, didn't you? Yeah. And so... Um, yeah, off they go. You jump in and literally, yeah, you jump in and your head goes under and all of a sudden you're bobbing back up like that going, oh my word. And it is like yeah. being hugged by a massive minion. <laughs> But sometimes a little bit too much because they do pump up really quite big and solid and yeah. you you're like this. Now, when you're buying one of these, the thing that you want to do, because the more money you spend, the more you get in it. And the definite bit that you do want is this bit. It goes under your crutch. Yeah, cut crutch strap. Because if you haven't got this on, these things, don't matter how tight you've got them around here, ride up yeah. and your legs dangle down. And you find yourself like this and they're not very comfortable. But as soon as this is on, it brings this bit up and you float on your back. Mm -hmm. Even though it will save your life without this, but with this on, oh, the difference is unbelievable. And if you haven't got this bit, you can buy that bit separate and you just strap it on and clip it in. But I'd, I'd never want to wear one without it. No. Not after trying them. So yeah, that's, that's what you got. It's got reflective tape in this one all the way around. So you're in the dark, if someone's got a torch or anything else, and they, they'll find you. Got a little whistle. <laughs> is that a top up tube? Yeah, so there's a, there's a tube for, so once it is up, it, it really is up. Now, what we found is they were they were up and they were too tight. Like they, you were, they were pushing on your neck like this and you, you couldn't breathe properly. So you just push the end and what it will do then, it will let air out. So you can let it down a little bit so it's more comfortable to wear. Or if, you, if it isn't enough, you can blow back in, you can blow it back up. So that, that takes care of that. You've got a whistle. We haven't got a light on ours. But here, 
you've got attachments so that you can have a light. Oh, okay. Um, when the battery pack gets wet, it senses it, so it knows it's in water, and the light flashes. It's like a strobe that floats behind you. Um, in the middle of the night, that'd be brilliant. We should get lights, really, in case you fall off and it's dark and we're not back in the marina, because then you'd be able to find you. So you get lights. Um, in the sea, if you're out at sea, you want a spray hood as well, which attaches under here which is a big hood that you pull down over your face and it stops the waves splashing in your face because oh. you don't want to be swallowing seawater. No. Because if you get seawater in your lungs, you can you drown of secondary drowning and then that's, that's not nice. But that's, that's offshore. Ours is, you know, we're not going offshore, so we're all right. And here's the firing mechanism. Yeah, so ours is green. This big green tab, when it goes off, that flies off. Mm. And then it's red underneath there, so you know that that's, yeah, released, that's good, yeah. You've also got a little green tab there, so that nobody has pulled that. Because you, if you pull that, or when it goes off, this tab also flies off. So is that a secondary thing, in case it hasn't gone off, you pull that? Well, off. first off, you'd, you'd be in the water, and that bit there would go off, because ours is automatic, because it's got a red handle. Right. Sometimes they have like a yellow different handle and then you know they're not automatic. So the only way that you're going to get that life jacket off is to pull the handle that down. Just sharp jab and poof, it goes. But ours, ours is a red automatic so what will happen, the water will get into that, the tablet in there will dissolve seconds, yeah, well under a second. And it fires a spring up which fires a needle into the bottom of this tube and then blows out all the CO2 and up it goes. Hmm. But if that didn't work, if for some reason that failed and your life jacket didn't go off, you can pull that down. And that will do the same thing. It will manually push the pin straight up. Straight up in. But you can undo this. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Nothing, nothing's going to happen. Yeah, look. Yeah. Ours is the 33. But if you look on the end there, I don't know if you see, you can see the end? Yeah. It's solid. This hasn't gone yeah. off. If that had gone off, there'd be a pinhole in that. Because ah. there isn't really much, you can't really tell if that's been used or not. No. You know, so you'd be like, oh, is that any good? But, yeah, so. And then the little pin is in there. You see, there's a little hole in there. Oh, yeah. So a little needle comes through there and goes through the end of that. Mm. And that's what sets it off. But you, you can take it all apart, you can take all these off. And you can see, look, it's all solid in there. Nothing has gone off. And there's a date on there. Over to me, because I've got my glasses on. I think it's next year, Replaced 24. by January 2024. Yeah, about that one. There might be one on there. Why do they, even with glasses <laughs> on... I wouldn't worry, because you, you're going to replace that. You're going to replace that anyway. Yeah, no, this and hasn't when, got a date on. I don't when you know. buy these, you get them in a kit. And it comes with both of them together. Right, okay. So if you're replacing this, you'd replace that anyway. Yeah, it's just got batch numbers and stuff. Yeah, so it's... But yeah, you've got the date put on the side of there, so it needs replacing next year. So next year I'll throw you in and you can test it. Thanks. <laughs> but literally, they just, they just screw onto the bottom. So basically, this is what... Um, so if you've got one of these life jackets... You should really open it up and um, double check. Oh, you need to, uh, yeah, you want to take it out and look at the dates on the yeah. on these units. If yours is a manual, you won't have a date on it. You'll just have this. Oh, okay. So you won't have that black bit that I've just taken off. But yeah. what you want to do, you want to inspect your cartridge and you want to look and make sure it's not rusty, it's not worn out. Yeah. You know, and there's a good seal in the bottom of that bit. See the yeah. black seal? There's a seal down inside there. You want to make sure that's good. Because most of the time, if these don't work, it's because this isn't tight enough. Because mm. people have put it on and gone, oh, that'd be all right. You know, or it's come loose where it's been in the boat. Yeah. So you, you should take them apart. So you, you just buy these things, don't you? Like, stick them on, use them, or not. Stick them in your wardrobe. <laughs> you stick them in a wardrobe and you don't yeah, use it. But yeah, you, yeah, you should. Don't do you really? No, because cause when this fires that little pin only comes up about a millimeter it doesn't like shoot up and fly no. through this bottle and if that's loose if that was like that and you went in it'd fire the pin but the pin wouldn't go through the bottle because no. it's not going to reach no true and that's yeah. the main failure of these is because people don't check that this is on 
and it's like that, good yeah, and tight. Nice and tight. And yeah, that's why they don't go off because they're not tight enough. Mm. Well, they've gone rusty and they've actually leaked. Wow, well, yeah. So you, you look at the end and you go, oh yeah, that's okay, but yeah. Mm. But on here, it's also, it tells you instructions how to put it back together. Yeah. Yay, thank God for that. <laughs> yeah. So if you're unsure, it tells you which bits, you just follow the folding instructions, look, on there. Oh, that's good. So they really are easy, easy to get apart, and there's nothing to worry about, just don't pull that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if this had run out, I'd have pulled it and you could see how much, but I don't run out till next year. No. And they're 30 quid to buy a new thing. And I'm tight. <laughs> <laughs> right, are you going to show us folding it back then? No. Oh, okay. Because I'll get it all wrong. Which bit? <laughs> Pleasurable. It gave me so much joy. <laughs> it did. Uh, they're really easy to take apart. Actually, no, then it's not too bad at all, no. Yeah, it, it's been folded up in here for so long that it follows its own lines, to be honest. Does this get staying or out that bit? Hmm? Oh, that goes in, doesn't it? Yeah. That's it. All the way to the end, and done really. Put these little Velcro bits back over the rip zips, because otherwise they're annoying and they'll keep coming undone. But, so there you go, I mean ours is, well it's an average one, it's not cheap cheap, because it's an auto one. Um, the, but the, the more money you spend, the more you get on it. Like we haven't got a light. The next ones up, I think, do come with a light, do come with a hood. And what some of them do is they have like a D-ring on here as well. So if you're sailing and you want to be tied onto the boat, you can clip onto the D-ring and clip onto the boat. Uh. And also it allows for some of you to clip on and hand you a line to clip on so that they can drag you back into the boat. These haven't got a D-ring on. No. Um, but then we're, we're not really out to sea, are we, or anything like that. No. But for, for river use, these are ideal, inland use. You can use them offshore, they're registered for offshore. But So, check your life jackets. So, check your life jacket. I'm all right. I know this one's all right, and this is my one. He hasn't checked mine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There seems to be a theme, a weekly theme going on here. Like, oh yeah, he's going on a life-saving course. He can save my life. No, I can learn how to save my own life. <laughs> it's sea survival. It's how to survive in the sea, not save everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I don't know when we're going to be back out cruising. The weather's looking tragic. It's raining all week. Oh, and it's the rain that increases the flow, which then means we can't go out. We so. need a more powerful boat. Should we get a rib? Yeah. Well, I think we'll have to go out on little boat. I can go down, no. We'll have to get new engines, they're a bit bigger. <laughs> Even that, I'd be like, <laughs> poor little thing. <laughs> anyway, you know what to do if you enjoyed that. Give us a little like, and um, who knows what it will be next time, but we'll see you then. <laughs> Bye. Bye.